After multiple scrubs, Terran 1 finally lifted from Pad 16 at the Kennedy Space Center. The first stage managed to reach Miko, or main engine cut off, which allowed the second stage and its Eon vacuum engine to prepare for the trip to orbit. However, an anomaly caused the engine to shut down. So, I will share my theory on what happened. So, we know that Terran 1 had a couple failed launch attempts. The first scrub was caused due to improper conditions for the fuel tanks on stage 2, the stage that would later cause the failure. On the second attempt, relativity really pushed it to the limit. After a stupid ship was found in the launch area, so the Coast Guard had to bring the boat out of the launch area, this set the launch time back by about 40 minutes. For some reason, even after trying to launch again, relativity scrubbed the launch. More than a few days later, and Relativity tried again, this time, dusk at the launch site had come in. They fueled the rocket's tank with liquid methane and finally... Terran 1 has cleared the tower. Control maneuver starting. Look at that blue fire! The rocket launched with no issues, the nine Eon engines all lit in a synchronized operation, and then we had Miko. Here is the issue, we can see it starting off okay, the Eon vacuum engine on the second stage ignites, but only three seconds later, a shutdown can be seen. Now, my theory is that of two ways it could have possibly failed, if I had to guess, I'd say it looks like an engine valve failed to open correctly resulting in the issue, or the engine could have melted from the inside, this has happened in the past. However, it is rare for an engine to break itself apart under pressure. What do you guys think happened? Share your thoughts down in the comments.